Hello everybody, it's SD Matt Haven here today, and well, I was looking through my statistics over on Watch Stars, and I realized I have a tank that I have not played in five years. And just to give you an idea, I decided to go ahead and jump into it and give it a few matches and see what it's like to pull out a tank that I literally haven't seen since December 24th of 2014. So <laughs> that that's that's been quite the amount of time. That that's a fat minute. And starting off just something nice and simple. We're going to be jumping over to the equipment. We're going to look at the statistics of the vehicle cuz they they have changed this. They did rework it a couple years back. It's been a very long time. As everything is double tapping, my mouse is acting up. Just decided to give me the finger and be like, nope, you're going to stay muted. You're not going to come back. All right, so jump over to module viewer right here. Horsepower 700, top speed 38, top reverse speed 15. So all of the statistics right here, that's not too bad. The one to me that means the absolute most is the uh, horsepower to weight at 14.26. Dispersion values at 0.36. This is with my crew already equipped. Um, travel speed of the rounds, not too bad. View range. Okay, view range is suffering quite a bit right there. 371. Wanted to jump off the tank and reload it just to see if that would change, but sadly it did not. So we're going to definitely need to take optics on this. So mobility moving 420. That's detection radius. Max gun depression, 5 degrees. Shots per clip. <laughs> uh, sorry, had to giggle at that one. Um, it, you know, just shot. It's not a clip. It's individually loaded. Fire rate, 5.1 shells a minute. So we're going to be looking at 8 second, 9 second reload. That's not going to be too bad. Maybe a 10. Might take a gun rammer. Maybe, just depending. Accuracy at 0.36. We might not need to take a gun rammer, but aim time at 3.4. That's a, it's pretty up there. Now, all right, it's been a fat minute since I played the IS-3. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually a little bit excited about this. So starting off, advanced optics, that's going to make a big difference for this. Now, thinking about it, the IS, they are pretty well known for their reloads. Five rounds per minute, that's actually going to be a lot worse than what I said prior. It's going to be like 11, 12 second reload. So coming up to the actual gun, it doesn't exactly tell you what the base reload is. And then going over to the module viewer, still doesn't tell you what the base reload is. Unless I am just blind. 11.97. Okay, so 11.97, that's actually, you know what? That's not too bad. I am just being a Muppet today. Don't worry. I've been awake for quite the amount of time. And I was just like, hey, why not? Let's do this. Let's, let's see what we can do. So... Gun, stabiliza gun stabilizer could be a good choice or advanced loader, but improve ventilation for me all the way. And thinking about it, I want to be a little bit aggressive. I want to be able to get to those positions fast and take them over. So we're going to do power terrain. Now, between the traction system and the power terrain, not all tanks need the traction system. A lot of tanks can actually barely even meet their top speeds. Primarily, the power terrain is going to be a better bet because it's going to help you get up hills quicker. It's going to help you rotate a little bit faster because that horsepower increase, depending on your base horsepower, could be a massive buff to help you get on the move super fast or just giving you that little bit of an advantage that you need to do whatever you really need. Now, commanders, this is a crew that never changes. This crew has been the same way for basically ever since 6.0 dropped, except for I did remove Gunsmith because they did finally fix that. Finally, it only took them forever. Uh, born Leader, Rapid Loading, Run and Gun, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Situational Awareness, Clutch Braking, Track Mechanic, and Sixth Sense. However, Clutch Braking on this tank, rather than using Clutch Braking, I actually recommend using Off-Road Driving because Off-Road Driving, I have experienced it with the same build, 
So playing with my friends, we'll use the same builds and kind of see what they do with just a couple things different. Um, Blades tanks that have been using off-road driving are actually outrunning me on flat terrain rather than having the clutch braking. But whenever it comes down to those close quarters engagement, clutch braking is making a pretty big difference, but not as much as off-road driving does with that terrain decrease. So there is that. Wow. I spent a lot of silver. I bought back the IS-3, fully equipped it, premium consumables, equipment. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So 225 base pin, 265 premium pin, an ammo loadout that I feel comfortable with. So, see what we can do. Fingers crossed. Two time. I'm actually going to just catch you guys. Oh, never mind. Don't need to do crap. I was going to, yep, yeah, you know what? I'm not even worried about it. So, 268 version 5, they have given that tank away, I want to say, four times. Now, 268 version 5, I'm not a real big fan of that tank. I don't know why they've given it away so many times. It's a little bit irritating. I'll talk about that later. Ugh. All right, top tier. I'm a little bit excited about this, and look at that. There's a tier 6 artillery M44. It's okay, though. More than likely, he's going to hit my top armor and do 600 plus damage. Yeah, usually how it goes. Oh, well. All right, let's see how the IS-3 performs. It's only been five years since I pulled this out. No, what is the reload? So we're looking at about 10.9. Usually add 0.1 to your reload just because, you know, you're, you're not fast on the swapping rounds. Maybe it is 10.8, but yep, 10.8. Without a gun rammer, so the power terrain probably kicking in, giving us a little bit of advantage to get ahead of everybody. 225 base pin, and there's no heavies on the enemy team other than low tiers, so we have IS-2. Wow. Talk about matchmaking. It's almost like they're trying to hand me a good game for the IS-3. It's okay, though. I'm a little bit tired. I think I might get my butt kicked. Fingers crossed I don't. Okay, so a good snap right there. I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, 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 ooh. People don't like me. Ooh, holy crap. I need to back off. Okay, we're down to 110 hit points. And all I wanted to do was say hi for like two seconds. No, I got denied so much. Holy crap. Okay, it is official. The armor of this still holds up extremely well. Except for the fact that I think I got... <laughs> I got hit by so many small guns. I am afraid to go anywhere now. Power terrain is not useful anymore. I made a mistake. I didn't think it was a mistake, but it would do. Oh my goodness, I do not want to do anything right now. What do we got? P88. I'm just afraid uh, of pulling up and saying hi above here, because this is where all the shots came from. Just going to do a blind shot, see if we get any hits. Okay, I don't know if it's a sad thing or a good thing I didn't. Might die. Oh my oh son of a gun all right we gotta play another uh, okay okay um we're gonna pretend like last match did not happen at all just forget that happened that never happened <clears throat> yeah that 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 did not go so well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess the power terrain is not what you want on the IS-3. That was a little bit too much aggressive pushing. Oh man, that was, uh, yeah, that, that's one of the kind right there. Pulls up just like, it just beautiful top tier matchmaking and gets absolutely shredded within like the first three minutes. Yeah, that's a, yep, fantastic. I, I guess that's what I get for playing like a Muppet. You know, just get, get, 
it happens. You know, you'll get cocky and you'll be like, oh, I could do this. I'm top tier. I'm going to have an absolute blast with no issues whatsoever. It's going to be amazing. No problems. Turns the corner. Oh, there's a lot of problems. Uh, at least I blocked my hit points. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to die over this. I am not ready. Well, this game we're up against nines. There's a tier 9 artillery. You know, it's nice to know that they still exist and that they still hit for a thousand damage, even though the thickest part of the armor on some tanks. But it is what it is. And fingers crossed that we're going to be able to get up in here and do what we can best, which is apparently get lit up like no other. I'm actually a little bit excited to try the IS-3. Getting back into it, buying it back. I mean, I've spent quite a bit of silver on this, so I'm probably going to put 50 or 60 games into this and see if I can get a 3 mark or not. But it, it is what it is. You know, I'm going to pull it out, get some games into it. Uh, the past couple of weeks of playing World of Tanks, I've just been burned out. And I jump back in the game early, I get back on because they add new challenges to complete, and I just get burned out because I... I usually complete challenges extremely fast without much really in the way of stopping me from doom. Um, you know, I was putting a thousand matches, almost 1500 matches a month in the game. Combined with that, I also play on like two different accounts of my friends that'll jump on. I'll help them grind through some trees whenever they're at work or let's say one of them's having a couple of issues pop up. So I'll help out where, where I can, but it, it is what it is. Now, IS-3, this tank, I have not played this tank in, in five years. And that's crazy to think because I thought I didn't have a single tank in my garage that has been sitting there that long to turn out. No, I have one of the tanks that a lot of people actually enjoy playing that I haven't touched in years, which absolutely just surprised the crap out of me. Now, one thing that the IS-3 is known for is reverse side scraping and right there all I did was readjust a tad bit to be able to get my side up and rather than taking a shot and punishing me right away he waited for me to get aligned with the way that I wanted to get aligned which allowed me to punish him and take him down permanently. KV4 tank that just recently got buffed and we're going through his top plate with standard rounds and apparently looks like his turret as well. That might have been the ricochet I have absolutely no clue. This match seems like it's going a little bit faster. Um, my team seems to be a little more organized. Mannheim, all of the new maps are brought in with Cold War. Honestly, these four maps should not be in World War II matchmaking. I've said it multiple times, and I could probably literally write an entire list that would take up like five or six pages on why they should be removed. But at the same time, there's a couple of things that you could say that they're not bad to have in the game but they're just too big and you can have one light tank spot everyone out and the entire team just sit in the back and not even come up so that's my problem with them well one of my main problems with them that is ah high explosive sadly you hit the space armor maybe it wasn't him that shot at me let's actually try and get reversed here Drop down. This is a this is a better match. <laughs> this is a way better match. That last one. Oh, thank you, King Dragon. My fault. Probably should have been paying attention to where he was going. Twelve to nine. This is uh looking like a slaughter. And enemy damaged off in the distance beyond the render range. That's always nice. Okay, so the IS3. Yeah, it's a solid tank, and just looking through my old stats and checking out tanks I haven't played in a long time, it, I was really surprised to see that this this was the only tier 8 out of my entire collection that has been sitting around for that long. So that surprised the crap out of me to see, and ooh, 40 of Patton got ammo wrecked. That's a boo-boo. But, yeah. Getting back into the game, I'm going to be doing a couple of things trying to, you know, get lined back up, but nothing too crazy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and play a little bit of aggressive here. I don't really know if there's anywhere I can drop down. And ooh, look at that, overmatching the top. 
Okay, so we're gonna want to get lined up right here and see if we can survive. Kind of feel like I made a mistake, but hey, we're all human. 11 to 6, and here I am this close with absolutely horrendous view range. And coming from the left, I actually want to see that. From his position, coming to me, and he's dead. So right through the top armor right there, that's actually a little bit sketch to see. It's on the top right, literally like dead corner center. I don't know, 6.0 magic right there with uh, penetration values. Heat rounds being able to go through massively thick armor and just, yeah, it's, it is what it is. That's another reason why I've slowed down a lot in playing because I've been going back to some older tanks and they're not as good as they used to be at all. And then a lot of the rebalancing that they're doing, they're adding a lot of armor in some tanks. They're making it to where they're going over the past 5,000 match results, which honestly, I don't know why they're going over 5,000 match results. It should be based upon, let's say, the top 10% of the player base going in, asking some of the top players who play in comp the reasons why they are playing those tanks specifically or things that they're doing overall. Like, very specific tanks on which ones are standing out the most. But it's wargaming. We can, you know, pitch an idea to, idea to them all we want. But it doesn't mean that they're going to accept it. Well, IS-3, I'm pretty sure this tank is still an absolute monster. But me, I just had some bad luck and maybe some bad plays on my end, which it happens. So, other than that, it was nice having you guys here. Till next time, you guys have a wonderful day and see you on the battlefield.